But you can't just quit. Mm, sorry, lad. I'm afraid my days of knighthood are over. You just have to find someone else's sword to carry. Well, maybe I should, since you're nothing but a big phony. What did you say, boy? A real knight would live up to his responsibilities, not run away from them. He'd do what's right, whether he likes it or not. All right. There must be 20 bucks in here, easy. Michael? It's me. Go away. I'm just looking for... Is that my piggy bank? I told you to stay out. It, it fell. I was just trying to fix it. And what's in that box? None your business. And keep your hands off. Like nothing you've ever seen in your life, Nibs. Look. Beautiful. You really like it, Wendy? I love it. Then I'll give it to you. Ouch! Hey! Peter, you can't do that! You gave it to me! Oh, come on, Tink. You never do anything with it anyway. What do you care? Find it? I took it from the caves of the King of the Ice and the Lord of the Snows, King Kairos. Whoop. Father! Father, you're... You fought well, lad. What name does the boy who saved my men's lives go by? I am Arthur. Not yet, Arthur. But Merlin... The time is not right. Then it is I who shall move it. Take your chance, King Lot, if you wish. Because of me, my little sister's life was stolen. For years I waited for my life to end, so I could be reunited with my family. But... Winifred's curse of immortality kept me alive. Then one day I figured out what to do with my eternal life. Now, I'd failed Emily, but I wouldn't fail again. When Winifred and her sisters returned, I'd be there to stop them. So for three centuries, I guarded the house on All Hallows Night when I knew some airhead virgin might light that candle. I took my last exam today. I think I did all right on everything except cellular biology. <laughs> I know you think it's important, Mom, but I don't see how I'm ever going to use that stuff. In a couple of weeks, a bunch of us are going on an archaeological dig in the mountains. The Wallaces said it would be all right as long as we had a adult supervision. So don't worry, Mom. They're looking out for me. They're really great people, and I like them a lot. But they're kind of serious. They don't have your sense of humor, Mom. Mom, I miss you. I'm Smedley. And I'm Heggy. Pleased to meet, meet you. you. How come you guys don't dress the same like me and Friol? Are you sure you're twins? Ha, <laughs> ha, say. Ever so. Righty right, Head? Righty right, Smed. We agree on everything. Actually, I was wondering about your smelliness. What's the matter with you, meat? Do you have to do that every time you hear the gate open? It's my job. I protect the house from intruders. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're too stupid to know otherwise. You've been programmed. I'll bet, I just bet, you'd run out there even if you knew it was me opening the gate. Well, since our substitute is late today, maybe we should review the list of positively charged radicals in the hydrogen cycle. Whoa, are you all right? You got hit pretty hard. Back off of that, homie! If you want the pipe, maybe I'll give you the pipe! But, Mr. Duckman, women are valuable and equal members of our society. Ask! Oh, buddy! How you been? What, what, don't you recognize me? It's me, Skillet! Oh, I've been looking all over the place for you. Hey, look, I gotta get back in the Shadowland before the evening's up, so come on, time's a wasting. This city festers with wholesome, good people. Oh, let's go slaughter a bunch of innocents. It'll be just like old times, what do you say, huh? Yeah, Baloo, you owe me exactly three dozen bananas. <laughs> what are you two talking about? Just a little friendly wager between me and my furry friend here regarding the uh, misfortunes of the fledgling fishermen in our midst. <laughs> huh. 
Oh, yeah? Well, just the same, Baloo. You better not tell anyone about this. Yeah, well, next time, keep your bets to yourself. Or one of these days, the harm will be intended. Understand? You know, I could give you your own set of stripes. Loser. Listen, guys, cut the old man some slack. He has to be here. He was fired, and he can't find a good job without a degree. Look. I talked to him and laid out all the ground rules. No interfering with the X Games practice, no hounding us about schoolwork, no coming into our room unannounced, and no acting like a father. Especially mine. He's got his life, I've got my life. You're safe in the Pride Lands. Why'd you bring me here? Who do you think you are? I think I'm the one that just saved your life. Look, I had everything under control. Not from where I'm standing. I humbly ask to join your pride. No, you were banished with the other outsiders. I have left the outsiders. I'm a rogue. Judge me now for who I am. Or am I to be blamed for a crime I didn't commit? Nuka! Hey, Nuka! Kalvu! Tell him to let me up! A friend of yours? <sighs> He's my brother. You really think he'd allow us into the Pride Lands? I don't see why not. Especially if you give Kasiri's family their watering hole back. Back to the Pride Lands? That means I could see Kiara again. You know Kiara? Yeah. Uh, it was a while ago. We gotta take him to see Mom. <sighs> Christ. Well... When I came across the Mordino family way back when, they were farming peyote cacti and trying to sell it to tourists as the Reno experience. <laughs> Total bullshit. I mean, peyote? Come on. It isn't even half the strength of, say, uh, old school LSD. Plus, a peyote trip is too long. The profits and fast turnaround and high addiction, like uh, barbiturates before the big one, you know? Halt! Be you friend or foe? What cowardice is this? Return to where you are needed. For the glory of Helm! We follow the righteous path. The path of Helm. This course we take is beyond all tenets of decency. I will not stand by while this party descends into depravity. Valigar, this hatred that you hold inside you is truly unhealthy. It is akin to the rot in a tree trunk that will only weaken you in a time when you need to be strong. Truly, mankind was never meant to scurry beneath the land as a weasel or mole. We have not the eyes for such delving. It is a task better suited to the dwarven folk. Oh, let's see. Nearly got run over, fell in mud, dropped half my pizza. Here, I, uh, saved you a slice. Ah, uh, any progress on that synthetic Blarney Stone gunk? You gone. You gotta help me. This bad luck is real. Uh, everything I do is a disaster. Yeah, we save a guy I'd never even vote for, and he comes out smelling like a rose. All a rotten luck. <laughs> You're lucky I don't plug those little chitty hairs off your face, goat boy. Hey, I have to practice, you know? Well, what are you mad at me for? It wasn't anything personal. It's just... In the last few months, I've been hearing things, you know? Th things I couldn't before, like... Like over there. Jenny's telling Pete Ross her folks are going out tonight. Oh, what can I say? Ma, I don't even know how it happened. Suddenly, I was running faster than I've ever run in my life. I ripped the camper apart like it was cardboard, and the fire never touched me. I've always felt I was different, even before you and Pa told me I was adopted, but how is it possible I could do these things? Please, put me back in. It hurts out here, please! Couple of creds? Spare some creds? I tried asking. Nice! That's all I could do. Batman was after me, please. Hook me up again, just, just for a little while. I promise I'll get more later. Tangling with F-stop? Are you crazy? The dude makes Norman Bates look like Mr. Rogers. Tell me something I don't know. If it wasn't for weight, I'd be looking for a good plastic surgeon right about now. Yeah, straight up, V. Hey, if any more static breaks out between you and F-Stop, you know I got your back. Thanks, man. Peace and out. He's a scouting robot. I can control him with this. I can see whatever he sees. And I can broadcast my voice through him. Uh, yeah, I figured that part out by myself. 
I call him Backpack. Backpack? Backpack! Heel! Cool! I wonder if I can get my pops to spring for one. I didn't buy it. I made it. If I knew Static was friends with the Justice League, I wouldn't have joined you boneheads. Not even to do laundry. Father? This is Snapper Carr, returning to our continuing coverage of the death of Superman. I'm here at First Metropolis Cathedral, where just hours from now, services will be held for the world's greatest hero. In addition to friends, colleagues, and loved ones, Heads of state from over 400 countries are expected to attend today. In the streets of Metropolis, as in cities all over the world, thousands have gathered to pay their last respects to the Man of Steel. Our all-day live coverage will conclude following Superman's ceremonial interment later this evening. Afterwards, our panel of commentators and pundits will debate the question on everyone's lips. Without Superman, can there be a Justice League? Our coverage of the death of Superman will continue. Gaggle? Are you going to gaggle? I have no home. I wander the land, searching for those weaker than myself who cannot defend themselves. Get off my tank! I seek a weapons master, one who will teach me the art of combat, that I may better defend the weak! Hi, I'm Tino. Okay, so, you know how, like, everyone wants to be one of the cool kids? Well, you might think you want it, but my friend Carver, he super wants it. My theory is that a tiny part of your brain does nothing but try to be cool. And in Carver, this part has swollen way up and squashed all the other parts like cockroaches. It's like, it's like squish, it's like, meow, 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 and there's like this one leg twitching, it's like, mm. Anyway, point is, Carver has been trying to become one of the cool kids for his whole life. And, you know, success rate, zero. But maybe this weekend, you never know, right? Um, uh, this is great, but are we gonna do anything? We don't have to do anything. I see. Hey, there's one thing we do besides Lane. We make fun of those who are beneath us. Having fun is totally uncool. Sniff, sniff. I smell a loser. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it, what's your favorite animal? Uh, a pit bull. No, two pit bulls. Thanks for letting me hang with you guys. Hey, I know what it feels like to be new. Uh, I might be able to help out. Here, Dad works for Bubble Ball Trading Cards. I got enough for all of us. Recess doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, only one bad thing about it, far as I can see. It's too short. If only there was some way to make recess longer. Superintendent Skinner, Stone here. This was a great idea you and Prickly cooked up. So far, I locked up the clock controller, fenced in the garden, and tipped off Finster to the side entrance. Nah, dopey kids got no idea what's going on. <laughs> in fact, we all get to spend recess in detention. <laughs> I'll learn more of their tricks and get a chance to rest up. Not a bad way for a 42-year-old dude to make a living, huh, sir? Yeah, I'll send my next report tomorrow. Bye. Nice flying, cadet. What's your name? Flash Fleming, sir. And may I just say what an honor it is to meet the legendary... Buzz! Uh, so, Flash, can you fly like that when it counts? Just give me the chance, sir. Please, call me Buzz. Thanks, sir. Uh, Buzz? It is such an honor to join your team, Buzz. Aw, oh, man. AJ's going to college, and my best friend's never around when I need him. I wish there was something I could do! Ouch! What the? A lamp from the 70s? I wish I could hang with my friend Timmy, but he's been so busy lately. Could you fix that? Huh? What? I'm free? Finally! <laughs> you! I mean... It's you, Timmy. What's up, Pink Hat? Kites, games, checkers. Also not cool. Uh, board games, uncool. Come on, little rascals, let's go do something cool. Hey, Jake, go! I'll stay here and hold him off. But... Go! Before it's too late! Now I know why I never got these things taken off. Ha! You'll never stop us! Wait, you stopped me. I wish I never met you! <laughs> Tell me it's a bad dream. I once found someone who was all alone. Uh, she's talking about Tarzan, right? Yeah! I'll teach you how to be a gorilla! And stop! Are you Kim Possible? I'm sorry, do you, I know you? Well, my mom works with your dad. I'm Felix Renton. Sounds state-of-the-art, huh? Yeah, a guy thing. 
Okay, Felix, you go stand watch. You mean sit watch. Kim, I'm just playing you. No fancy cyber chair stuff. Oh, like I need that to beat you. Got game possible? Oh, I came to play, Felix. Bring it on, possible. Bring it on. Roland, this is all your fault, yo. There were pickles all over my plate. Ryan, maybe you had Dexter's plate. Have you considered that? I did not have Dexter's plate. You think I don't know my own plate? Hey, where's your hall pass? You're full of organs, aren't you? Why, yes. Yes, I am. And you wouldn't notice if you were, say, missing a few? Probably not. You! You look like you still got all your organs! Yeah, so? You're in danger! Come with me! I have to go lift things? Oh, my organs! I have the herbs and spices, Jaboba. How's Locke doing? At least your transformation spell worked. Tobar, can you tell us what happened to Locke? Uh... Jaboba? You sure you did that spell right? I've got the spirit rattle. It was really hard to get. I had to... Oh, gross. Is that... Is that Locke? We don't want Three days of eating our food and her smell will go away. And if she doesn't work hard, roast her, boil her, do whatever you want. Now get back to work. Where is Lynn? What? Don't you dump her on me. You said you wanted an assistant. That's perfect. Give the girl to Lynn. Oh, great. Sin, get going. Right. I sense your presence, Jaden. Rosh, what are you doing here? The disciples of Ragnos brought me. At first I thought they were going to kill me, but I was wrong about them. Do you realize how much power there is in the dark side? Kyle was holding us back, Jaden. You should feel the power. It's beyond anything you've ever imagined. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Vex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Dustal, is that you? Oh, lovely. It's father. Figures you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the academy? Cute. I wonder how interested Master Uthar would be to know just who he has in his whip. Unless you've switched sides, Father. But I doubt that. Just why are you here, Father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this reunion? Well, fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? My name is Furco Nellis. My vice is Bazak. Ah, I'm sure you do, but I won't have answers. I leave other people to their business, and they leave me to mine. Really, you'll have to seek information elsewhere. But if you want some recreation, I've cards ready to play. Calavera Muerto. I'm not playing video games with you. You're a joystick hog, and you can't use my El Rey toothbrush. So go back to your own world. Well, it's good to be home, muchachos. No thanks to you, flea. Hey, Mysterioso! You missed a view. Strictly business, gentlemen. Musk was the star accountant at my daddy's firm for years. But after he rejected the tie, our company stuck, plunged. Daddy was beside himself. He couldn't ever get close enough to Musk to get him back. But I could. I've been waiting forever for Musk to slip up. But regular ties won't work on him. So I had to bring him to the queen, who can make him wear the tie whether he wants to or not. I've created this facility as my science fair project. Right now, it's just me and my sister Liza here, raising new strains of bullies. If we can only figure out what makes the bully tick, then weaker kids might have a chance in this world. This island is a living, breathing bully habitat. We even have a Wedgiesaurus Rex. Y'all might be able to handle one villain numerous, but let's see how you handle ten. <laughs> 
Hey, Billy, look at this here funny Mexican hat I stole. Oh, hey, Billy, you're a good man. And a really good thief. Not to mention what a heck of a good-looking fella, Billy. I am sorry to confuse. You are no prisoner here. My name is Red Star, and you may go at any time you wish. It is I who may not leave. I found you outside when my proximity alarm sounded. I mean no disrespect. Most people have great fear of me. I have an energy within. It can be dangerous. Good afternoon, ladies. Oh, sorry if I startled you. I was just looking for my cufflink. It must be around here somewhere. Welcome to Oxford. From what Jerry has told me, you're just the girls to help me find the second scarab of Isis. The second scarab of Isis? We thought we were supposed to help you find the missing professor. Yes, but unfortunately, I'm afraid Professor Elliot is beyond finding. You see, he fell victim to the curse of Amunra. My name is... Ron. And horrible sharp claws! And a blood-curdling howl that pierces the night air like an assassin's dagger. So, Tuck. Now that we've eliminated that robotic distraction, I think it's time to meet the wolf. At last, I do hereby claim this peak, the highest in all of Asia, for the village of Stickney, Illinois. Thus, do I claim the Mount Milagankaro! Todd, I thought you said you never get any presents. I said I never get what I want. On every holiday, I'm showered with gifts, but I never get the most important gift of all. Love? No. Weapons! What? But it no longer matters. For now, I possess the ultimate weapon, you! Aloha, boys and girls! Welcome to Mackie Macaw's home of the homey hometown luau! I'm Mackie Macaw, and these are the Hammerheads! Yay! We're gonna have loads of fun, and you will... Uh, Mackie's taking a little hometown nap! We're sorry. Here. Keep it. Just go. So, have you reconsidered my offer to join me? No! I owed you a favor, and now I have repaid it! You may be closer than you think to joining me with that little white lie. I do not lie! Really? You mean you didn't free me for your own self-interest? To stop that nitwit Jack Spicer? Well, maybe a little. Isn't that what evil is all about? A lie here, a little bad there? Suddenly, it's so easy. Uh, hey, the can? Remember we made a picnic date? I just wanted to cancel that. Why, Hardy Boy, do this? Because the, the sun broke. Yeah, you never forget your first crime. Radioactive phosphorus. Just what the doctor ordered. The name is Firefly. And I'd be very careful. I fumble this ball, we're all toast. And Nuclear Firefly 2.0 is gonna be in and out of the treasury before the bat even pulls on his tights. Once we have the gold, we'll steam away from Gotham and never look back. <sighs> It'll be the sweet life for us. Thanks for getting the name right, Batman. But I'm not Firefly anymore. With your last breath, call me Phosphorus. I'm not one of your pathetic Arkham Whack jobs, Bats! I have real power! I'll break through that suit, then I'm gonna soak up every bit of radiation in the reactor and pop my top! Gotham will be a memory, but long will live the name of Phosphorus! Are you kidding? I've already had my protein shake. It's vitally important to maintain a superhero physique because you can't be flabby when you're... The Duckinator! Yesterday you were calling yourself Super Duper Duck. Yeah, well, it wasn't quite rolling off the tongue. Besides, I need a name that'll fit on the costume. How about... Mm, a duck? Very funny. Glorified Zamboni. Chipping ice isn't a superpower. Quacking is a superpower. Observe! 
You can stop observing now. I can make anything fun. <laughs> Destroying stuff is so much fun. <gasps> I can make anything fun. Ay, yum, yum, yum. Or especially that. <laughs> Wanna play another game? Oh, great maximum leader and wondrous duck. <laughs> I told you to stay in your box. You're worth more than the original packaging. Sorry. You were always so busy hanging with the elite, always obsessed with global galaxy issues. All I wanted was to become a member of your court and to serve you. I even brought you a present. For you, my lady. I wanted it to be Freeling's new national anthem, so I could be remembered forever. Ignored me and my music. All that dumb safety gear just slows us down. We need super speed, you hear me? Super speed! If I'm going to ride up to the torch on the Statue of Liberty, it will be the shining finishing touch to Rusty Land, my extreme riding park and cool new hideout. Danger Rangers! Danger Rangers! Safety rules! <laughs> Here you go. Wow! Can I have one of those? Ranger Sully! Oh, my, uh, my Sivo's blinking, and I was wondering if that meant you were calling me. This is Junior Danger Ranger Kevin Masker. Come in, Ranger Sully. Yes, Kevin? If I go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, will my Sivo unit keep scanning for dangers, like in the hallway, past my parents' room, in the bathroom and stuff? <gasps> Mom! Dad! It's the Danger Rangers! Oh, I know the Danger Ranger motto. Safety rules! Alert Vectometer? Hi, Sivo. How's it going? I told you having a new baby sister around was a dangerous idea. Hey, Riley. Dustin Dreamlake! I hope you don't mind that I crashed your party. All right, Kay. I give up. Which one of these kids turned out to be the cleverly disguised spy known as Tiny Evil? Uh, about that. It's that little cake thrower over there! <laughs> Excellent. I think I'll go have a little discussion with him about national security. What's your name, kid? They're all over. I got surrounded. This is an order. Name and rank. Jansen, sir. Private with the US 32nd under UN command. Where's your unit? I don't know. I... Back that way, I got separated. Private, did your unit have a radio? It was destroyed when we were ambushed, but I, I grabbed my unit's frequency hopper. Next time, don't get started without me. I don't want to miss any of the fun. Come on. You know how Caramon eats. If we don't get to the inn soon, there won't even be a crumb left. And I'm starving. Great. You can never get that goblin smell out. Then throw it away. Uh, I can't do that. It's Flint's. Why, you little thief! You dropped it during the fight. I just picked it up for you. You should be thanking me. Oh, yeah! Fun fest! What are you going to do for your talent this year, Normal? I am so glad you asked! Oh, boy. Air guitar uh. solo! Uh. That's your killer comedy? You are so going down this year, Fatso! Pipsqueak. Fatso! Pipsqueak! Fatso! Allow me to introduce <laughs> myself. I am... Ramon. This humor oh. is, uh, how do you say... stale? <laughs> Don't you agree, Arlene? I meant this cat was really short. How short was he? He was so oh. short he could pose for trophies? Say, you reckon I could be as strong as Master? With your skill, Sasuke, I'd say it'll take at least 50 years. 50 years? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I could be dead in 50 years. Or even worse than that, old. Oh, man. I could go for a chicken cutlet. Bruce, don't run. Wow, dude. That's amazing. Lee stupid. That's the best you could come up with for the secret origin of the Green Lantern? Give me a break. What? What's wrong with my story? First of all, a dude without fear has a serious mental condition. And secondly, how does a ring choose someone? I don't know, it just does. No. What happened was some ordinary guy just lucked into finding it. Everyone knows it's the ring that's special, not the person wearing it. I mean, 
I could be the Green Lantern with it. Golly, 12 cities on three continents? He's sure giving us a run for our money. Arrow, this is Batman. Listen to me carefully. I've taken control of Speedy's body so that I can speak to you. Okay. This is stupid. You got a better idea? Ugh. What's going on? You were doing a Batman impression. Gosh, <laughs> I was? That's right, Batman. Shark attacks can be scary, but you can defend yourself with a Bat Aquatic Menace Neutralizer. Make sure it's on the proper setting. If a shark grabs your cape, don't panic. Any quality crime-fighting cape should be equipped with a quick-release collar. This isn't working. It's like shooting marshmallows at a mountain. And the rest of Nova Corps has already been defeated. There's only one thing left to try. Okay, was it 27 left, 32 right, 15 left? Or was it 12 left, 49 right, 17 left? Ah, got it! The Power Stone. Oh, you beautiful thing, you come to Nova. Gotta use the stone to boost the laser's power. This doesn't work. Nova Corps is finished. The galaxy's left unprotected. I'm Max. Verdona. Unusual name. I'm gonna take a flyer and guess that you're not from around here. How very perceptive. Do you have any other talents? Sure. Only they're classified. I'm good at keeping secrets. All right. I'm going into space. You don't say. Yep. I'm an astronaut. I'm going to be the first man on the moon. Sounds lonely. <laughs> I'd invite you along, but the capsule will be kind of cramped. No problem. I'm small. Is that so? Antonio! I brought you something, my love. A token of a love so strong that no force in the universe can deny it. Not even your Aunt Natalie. Sonny, come back in the house. Is that tree from the backyard? No. That's my swing. I love you, Antonio. I love you more. I love you more. Our love will never die, sweet Sonny. Whatever. I always said, if I gotta be a freak, might as well get paid for it. Oh yeah, about that. I figured since you're a big secret agent and all, you'd want to know. Some of the performers have been getting threats. What kind of threats? Uh, you know, the usual stuff. Die, Evo, die. Nothing to get excited about. I'll check it out. Hey Rex, it's really cool that you're here. I know who you are. You're that Jonah Hex. Congratulations. I could shoot six bottles off a of fence and not miss a one. Who gives a damn? I could take you. Seen him? Can't say that I have. You sure? Uh huh. Put a drink on the bar and go away. Come on, Bronson. You've known me for years. We grew up together. You know I'd never steal anything. Mr. Feist, can you tell us what happened last night? Everything was normal. I was asleep, and then I had this terrible dream. And the next thing I knew, I was driving my car into the bank. I love that car. More than my own children. <laughs> and now it's gone. Gone. Hey, Zach and Cody. It's me, Carly. And Freddy. Hey, that's my part. I just want to join everyone here in wishing you... Bon voyage! Hey, you're not taping over my American Idol audition tape, are you? Of course not. What do you think I am, stupid? What's going on? Clifford thinks everyone wants to play. Oh, no. Hannah Montana, not you! Miley, Hannah got splattered under that giant dog toy. Skateboarding is my life, which is why I'm stoked for the Skate Team Championship. But if I'm gonna win, I'll need the help of my best bro, Luther. What up, Dork Munch? Lex Luther? But where's my Luther? Way to go, Alvin. You crashed our ship and we lost Dave. Now who's gonna look after us? You're Al Pacino, the star of so many classic movies. I mean, not in the last 20 years, but you had a good run. I won't let you hurt Bella again. It's me she wants. <laughs> Ow! Did you bite me? Yeah, but only after you bit me. Wait. 
Does this mean we're vampire werewolves? Uh, where am I? You're in the internet, Lion Law. Trollerized defeating your people with stupid overused memes. The only way to fight him is with even stupider memes. I have but one question. Can I have some of that cheeseburger? Yes, that's the spirit. No. This week on Extreme Renovation House Edition, we're heading north. Way north. To take on Superman's home, the Fortress of Solitude. At the request of some of the people closest to him. Good morning, Superman. Morning? We're at the North Pole. It's 11.30 at night. We're sending you to Disneyland. Is someone in danger? I'll say. Him, for living such a private life. Tear down those crystal walls! This may take a while. Look, 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 guys. We should all be friends. I'm really one of you. Part of the heroic legacy, right? My name's Bart Allen. You know, grandson of Barry Allen, the Flash. What's not to believe? I've clearly got Flash's speed, his amazing good looks. Frankly, I can't wait to meet him. Uh, uh, you know, back when he was in his prime. See, I know stuff only a future boy would know. Dick Grayson, Tim Drake, Garfield Logan. Oops, spoilers. This secret identity thing is so retro. I mean, you can call me Impulse, or Bart, or Bart Allen, or Bart Impulse Allen. It's all crash. You look good. Really? Because I feel like a fraud. I know he'd be proud. Thanks. So, you suited up, but as Tigress? Dorsal root ganglia. Fascinating. Bumblebee, no touching the ganglion. Okay, we've reached the site of the incursion. Give me the 600 nanometer emitter. You see, most problems can be solved by reducing them to their smallest components. I'm through the first layer. Increase power by 40 watts. Become a citizen of the Milky Way by holding out your hand. Grab the taste that'll make your day One sip and you'll understand Our friends have come from far beyond To help us and to teach Quench your thirst while we all bond Don't wait, reach for a reach Yeah, in strawberry, mango, or in peach Reach for a reach this is the Atom, on the Justice League Emergency Transponder. I don't know if anyone can hear me, but this thing is as broken as my size-changing belt, which seems to have me stuck at six inches high. I've crashed near a river. I'm going to follow it. It'll be slow going, but hopefully not too difficult. Let the entertainment begin! Father! Hostos, I wish to see this. You don't get it. There's no rank here anymore. We're equal opportunity fugitives. How many tours of duty have you done? How many combat missions have you led? Don't want to take orders from me? Fine. But our priority is still the mission. There is no mission. Our priority is the men. That means food, water, and medical treatment for your leg. We need to warn the authorities. Who will believe us? If that freak show is running loose, it's partly our fault. I won't allow more innocent lives to be lost. And unlike you, Scarlet, I got an inside contact we can depend on. You don't know who you're messing with. Ah! Oh, help me! Ha 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 ha! What foul pit did you crawl out of? You've nothing to fear, though it cost me my life. I, Cardinal Pater, bearer of the celestial jewel, will save you. Biff! Bam! Ha ha ha! Judgment meted! May as well get me another round. Hell, maybe even two. I'm off the clock, sir. Something you need? I ain't working. I'm drinking. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? I think you better leave. I don't have friends here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Good day, friend. Keeping well? 
Sure. What can I do for you? Only true Imperials request that one. We drink to our youth, to days come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. Sure. What can I do for you? Ah, a fine but bloody tale. I can do that one. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from old Rorik's stead. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of old battles in gold he had made. Ah, this whole thing's new to you. I can tell. He did good. I'm sorry it has to be under these circumstances, but we stick together, right? I'll do what I have to. So what happened to the X-Men? The news stories are always in New York. Well, we lost our base. And the man who brought us together in the first place. Charles Xavier. Yeah. Professor X. <sighs> Hard to believe he's gone. Oh! Well, well, well. Fortune smiles upon the brave. Hey, Dad! I thought I'd worked everything out. Hadn't accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. But then... I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But... Lo and behold! You slippery sons of bitches survived. Wait, 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 wait. Did you... Did you swim out of there? I picked up the Warstone's energy signature, and I'm working to pinpoint its location. Is that what your soul is worth, Leo? What are you talking about? The destruction of one more civilization so he can have his precious stones. Shh. I don't like it when you talk this way, Panthera. Mumra needs these stones to bring order to the universe. Then why has his pursuit of order brought only chaos? This is treason. He is our master. Who are we to question him? But thanks for keeping my seat warm, Squirt. Cade? <laughs> Who else is Doc gonna trust with tech like this? He knows I'm responsible and mature. I'll check back with you later then. And you? <laughs> Get ready for the ride of your life. I need an audio output to finish a repurposing project. Red buttons or yellow? Well, you've made yourself right at home here, haven't you? Scrapyard's nice. And the other bots, even the humans. Everything and everybody seems to have a place. Irvis, what's the situation in Griffin Rock? No updates. Signals there have become too weak to transmit to space. Well, the other bots can handle it. The satellite wasn't my fault, so it's not my problem, right? I am not programmed to make judgments. I determine available options based on empathic input, but the current status of your feelings is... unclear. Shall I resume course for Hydra's 4? What are you doing, Milo? Going hunting for flying saucers. I need you to land this thing before you hurt yourself. Sorry, Danny. I have a right to defend my home! Um. It anymore. I did, uh, oh, 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 it's dripping. I have dreamt of this day since I first saw you soaring above the cold concrete canyons of Manhattan. I know everything about you, all your moves, style. Webby will not let you down, sir. Webby? Yeah. No, you don't like it. Okay, noted. How about Spider Lad? Rack the boy? Little thwipper? Whip, 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 whip. I made a long list. The name is Steel Spider, and you are about to be proven obsolete. This is my hometown. Boston is a real hero, not a rented one. Go back to where you belong, Spider Man. This city doesn't need you. Too bad, Green Giant, because you're gonna fight us. Knock it off! 
Ugh, smell worse than that! No, you're no Rose Garden either, Betts. And you! You'll never take me alive, you green golem! But we're carrying on the underground resistance, started by our parents. Don't pity him! He's just like every other human. Ugly, destructive, and lacking any respect for nature. There are other lion turtles? There are other lion turtles? Of course there are! Dozens of them! Boy, you humans are stupid too! So which way to the nearest lion turtle city? Hmm... I think it's on the other side of none of your business valley! <laughs> it's not a banana. It was inspired by harmonic convergence. It represents the dawning of a new age. Obviously. Stunning work, Iki. It hurts my eyes with its raw emotional power. Ah, pedestrian. I already know what you look like on the outside. I want you to show me the inner Milo. Where'd you get all that stuff? Uh, I fell off the back of a truck. Bingo! There's one of them. Go get him, Pony. <laughs> oh, nice summon. Not. <laughs> okay, Pony. Party's over. Let's turn out these lights. Oh, it's kind of late to grow a backbone, pound cake. You should have stayed down. So, young Master Wayne, what did you take away from this evening's performance of Macbeth? There are no shortcuts to greatness. And, never listen to witches. <sighs> How about you, kid? You want trouble? Sure. I'd love some. What? That was unwise, young Master Wayne. I couldn't help my parents, but I helped you. This time. But you must respect your limits. Not if I don't have any. Of course it is I, Dr. Ivo! In the past, you've defeated my old android, Amazo. But now you will fall to my new android, Extremo! Curse your dopeness, vibe! I'll best you one day! One day! Ah, see? Swimming is easy. Any loser can swim. I don't know, Fish. I don't have arms. Stinks to be you. You dummy! You'll freeze the whole... Pond. Fear, Celestial Pondus. Your terror powers my ring, covering the farm in fat, blubbery fear. Heck! I like the dog. My plan am topple our silo, crushing bird of justice. Works for me. Hello, are you here for the sleepover? Cut my hair. Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh no, you don't need to send an ambulance because because uh, hey, because uh, he caught on fire, ran away, he's gone. Don't send anybody. Oh, how come that kid doesn't want to play with us? Oh, Jeff doesn't like to have fun. Well, let's show him how. Hey, Clarence. Do you play hacky sack? Yeah, probably. Boom. Oh man, that does look like fun. This great lake is known for having the most water. What is Lake Superior? Oh, uh, what is a river superior? Uh, Brian. What is Lake Superior? Correct. Yes. Thank you so much. <gasps> Did you say honey? <laughs> uh, try some? Mmm, that is tasty. Thanks. Is it real? Of course. Are you? Nope. Animated. <laughs> you know, I'm always looking for real honey for Honey Nut Cheerios. Well, you've come to the right place. Great. Mind if I have another taste? Not at all. <laughs> uh, oh. You all right, bud? Never better. Oh, I don't know if he likes that. Yeah. Part of a complete breakfast. It's no dream, Lightning. The future is right there in the Oracle Drive. If I kill the Savior, then the world will be reborn. And this time, it's going to happen like it's supposed to. It's going to work. I failed once before, long ago. But you know that story. I defeated a friend because I believed that would save everyone. Everything went wrong. Yes, I won our fight like I was supposed to. And then he died. Is everything okay? Well, it's just that I am such a fan of Gary the Gadget Guy. He invented the Cloud Maker 3000, the Aqua Grabber 3000, and even the Ghost Catcher 3000. <gasps> You've heard of it. Do you want to help him? More than anything. 
Well, it's a party. Go, Mingle. Mingle mode engaged. Hi, Gary. Adrongo said I'm supposed to help you. Gary, I love science. Gary.